house. Hello, Arthur. I didn't do it. I heard that. You heard what, you crazy fool? I heard everything you said. I was sleeping, you lunatic. Don't make me angry. What you reading? for reading this stuff. Of course we do. Then we'll read them ourselves. Do you? Sometimes. What is it about this nonsense? I don't know. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hi there, Arthur. Hey, watch it, Marston. <laughs> Come on, girl.
The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. And nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Listen, I can't go collecting for you right now. <clears throat> Good luck, anyway. Oh, okay then. Uh, some other time, perhaps.
interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. Well, I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Ah! Watch out. Look where you're going. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. Oh, we used to see her around all the time, but now she... Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Now, I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can. 
then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Get on, dear boy. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. Sure, I never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems, the better, right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So, what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your God retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. What are you doing? Let's go. Will you move? Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so. I ain't so sure about that. So, here's something strange. James was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and uh, such like. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. 
Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure.